Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, just thank you so much for having patience with me, you know, being there on my good days as well as my bad. Um, just reassuring me that, you know, I'm not on this journey on my own. So, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. And then hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or if you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacts your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if uh, you feel like the video is very informative to you and just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a love, loved one, family, or friend, um, or even a fellow empath that's going through some really dark times right now and just need to uplift, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and sending me so much love and support. It's truly a blessing to have you in my life. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my meditation music is coming from uh, Astral Travel Music. It's called Eight Hertz of Astral Projection Sleep Music, Binarial Beats, Astral Projection Music. And I'll post that link in the description box below, and it goes good with the content of my video today. Um, and it's called Twin Flame 101, Helka's Astral Travel Through Your Past Lives to Make Sense of Your Current Life. And it really is. It's just like, you know, y'all want to give y'all, you know, a disclaimer. I do apologize for getting so emotional on my video where I had to cut it short. It, I mean, it was like between the meditation music and it's just like everything. There was, it was just coming up and I'm just like, oh, no, I don't know. You know, I, I, I mean, if you've been with me for a while, you know, I hate, you know, crying on videos. But it's just like if it hits you, it just hits you. And it, I mean, it was beautiful, but it was a beautiful release at the same time because it's like I can feel everybody's energy and it, it can make me emotional sometimes. So, um, so I do apologize for that. But um, yeah, it, it's just like we I've noticed that you probably if you're going through meditations or even I remember when I used to smoke, I didn't realize that I was going through different stages of my past life when I used to smoke marijuana it would take me to my higher self and um now I'm still able to do it when I'm you know I'm practicing my sobriety and um just being able to do that it, it's just like they have you going through different things in life and I know I must be on something because like I said <laughs> when I be on a good content it's like the lights <laughs> I, get, I have flashing lights coming through makes me think about that Kanye song flashing lights and <laughs> there it goes again <laughs> but anyways uh going through all those different things you know basically you know if you've been with me for a while or even stop by and watch my videos about your uh generational curse or your karmic situations or cutting cords and stuff like that it's just so many different things we have did in life like we're doing the same thing we have done in life so many times it's like probably now you're probably getting um, these vibrations of deja vu, like you've done things before. You're you're starting to see like you already know what's going to happen because our higher selves already know how everything's going to come and play. Um, but it, it's just leaving that that big part out. Is like it's like our higher selves are like, oh, you know, you're getting it, you're getting it, or oh, dag, I hate this part. It's like when we're watching a movie we already watched before. You know, so it, it has us going rewinding on the things that we have done that we couldn't get right those last 10,000 times. You know, it's just like this time, you know, it has us going through the most disruptive, hellish things that we possibly could even go through because we put our, we signed that, we signed on that dotted line and did not even read the fine print. Like, hell yeah, go ahead, give me this. I got this. I can do this. And you realize you're like, oh my God, I can't do this. Yes, you can. You can. Trust me, there's days I, I cry. Like you just seen me in the last video, I was just crying. You know, because it's just like so hellish that I put myself in this. I, I decided who, who, what people I'm associate with myself, who, who comes across my path. You feel so welcoming towards other empaths. Like there are so many of y'all I connect with on a soul level that I know y'all have been in my life before. And it's just like, especially people I talk to on one-on-one, -on -one, 
there's times I get very emotional with them because it, it's like I'm sending them a spiritual hug. Like, where you been at for so long? And, oh, you remember when we did this? You know, and it's a beautiful thing when you can reconnect with people like that. And it just has you going through all these different things that, you know, where you're trying to find self-confidence, uh, patience, strength in places that you, you know, you, you feel like you need that extra time on and it's just like you never should be hard on yourself about the situations you're going through because everything I keep hearing everything is at divine time and so don't feel like oh you know you you keep going through the same sort you know rotating door that you feel like times is time is you know slipping by you it's not you know we all had to go through the things we had to go through we all had to experience the things we had to experience you know we go through ups and downs you know there's a lot of things that has happened to you you know we lost people in our lives they passed away um and it really messed us up in the worst kind of way or we've been abused in the worst kind of way or we had our heart broken in the worst kind of way we're all experiencing these things to you know make this big giant impact on whatever the hell is coming up towards us because it had us having to go through all these tremendous heartbreaking traumatic things for us to get that that billy badass that supposed to be coming out you know whatever kind of fight we got going on is just like they have you going through the most heartbroken things like i tell people all the time when god puts you through the worst situations he does that to his strongest soldiers and that's how he trains us that's how he we manifest our strength in in ways that you know you can't even be touched and it's just like you know nobody ain't gonna be able to tell you nothing when you finally get through that and it's just like going through all these things you have you know had the out-of-body experiences where you have traveled in the universe in different places that seem so familiar to you you know you do it in your dreams half of the time because i take sleep aids just to go to sleep at times you know um so it's kind of hard for me to remember, but during the day, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember I dreamt this. So I try to be able to write that down and stuff like that and, you know, recollect my, my things because it's just like the situations I'm going through. I have this sense like, you know what, you're going to be okay because you've been through this. You already know things are going to come out better than you ever imagined. And it's just like the things you're going through, you're going to be blessed behind all measures that you never thought you would be able to be blessed with. And I tell y'all all the time. When you, whoever you, you worship, whoever you pray to, when you're praying for things and you know you're doing everything you can do and you know you feel at wit's end where you want to just like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. You know, I you know don't give up. You know, if you need to just take a break and sit take a sit out, you do that. But don't give up. Like I always tell my friends, don't feel like you never have enough confidence for things, especially if things you've been working hard for, you've been going to school for, you've been studying for. Don't do that. That's what darkness wants you to do. That's the devil will do. You know, don't ever let devil and ego get a hold of you like that. You know, because even my daughter, I was telling my daughter today when I was getting so frustrated. I said, you know, any other time I would have lit up a cigarette or rolled a blunt. And she was like, well, mom, you know, I'm so proud of you because you've been doing this without any of those things. You know, just look at how far you came. And it's like my daughter's 18 years old. And I'm just like this girl. <laughs> and I swear she's down. She's 18 going on 38 but it's just like you know she had me even think about that too i said you know what you're right you know i've gone through things that i never thought i'd be able to handle you know i, I cry you know i get pissed you know I, I i cuss at the world you know and then i'm like you know what i feel better now i said god forgive me for saying that i just had to let it out he said hey it's all right <laughs> as long as you ain't go back to your old habits it's all right because you're doing all this stuff sober so it, it's just i had to not be hard on myself because there's so many other things out of ran but i mean things that's really done hit me in the worst kind of way like i've been curved a certain way and i'm just like no but it's just like you're getting those moments to where when you're meditating and you're getting that time to yourself you will time travel you will get to that point where you're seeing why you had to manifest the things you had to manifest why you had to go through the things you had to go through why you got hit in these directions for this reason it will all make sense to you even though it's probably making sense to you now it's like not saying we kind of slow <laughs> but we kind of slow it's like we had to go through all these things and it's just like sometimes we can be stubborn and just like why do i have to constantly keep going through these things but then i get this feeling like you know what you're gonna be okay you know even i don't know if that's just my higher self talking to me or my dad's talking to me or whatever but it lets me know hey you're gonna be okay you're gonna make it out of this like 
nothing ain't gonna be able to touch you and you're gonna be all good so it's just like right now it's like the universe source god whoever all is holier than now has you going through these things for a certain reason and having you pay attention to things you really weren't really paying attention to before because it's just the fact is our slow redundant ass <laughs> now so we're going through these things so many times and we couldn't get it right because either we passed away you know lost the fight or whatever but this is your last time having to go through it that's why things is hitting you in ways like it'll make you want to just pull your hair out but trust and believe you won't come out of this smoke smelling like nothing but roses i promise you so knowing it will make sense of the, the things that you had to go through knowing you will be okay you will be having strength in ways you never thought you could ever have before but knowing this it, it has you you know taking a walk down your path like the christmas carol if you notice it, it has you walking around like the christmas carol that's the best kind of, best kind of metaphor i can use for it um that it has you looking at your life from a, a bird's eye view like you know third person or whatever you want to call it and seeing reason why you had to go through the things you're going through you're like oh oh that's what oh, okay <laughs> you know so you had that pretty slow moment but knowing everything is happening the way it happened has to happen it's on divine timing so don't be hard on yourself if you know you're working towards it and it might feel like you're not doing nothing you just running around in a circle trust and believe you are because you never know what's happening behind the scenes that you do not know know about you know things might be thrown at you and it's just like it's hitting you in the worst kind of way it's like it done you know uh, hit you in the back without even having lube you know that i mean not to get grind down and dirty like that but it really have you feeling like that it's like god dog you didn't take me out on a date first so like wait a minute hold up wait a minute now you know it's gonna be something like that but you needed to go through this for you to be able to make sense of the reason why you're on the path that you're on right now why are you fighting the war that you have with yourself right now so be patient with yourself. Be gentle. Knowing you're going through these things for a certain reason. And knowing you will make it through anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Please don't give up on yourself. Especially don't give up on something that you know you can't go a day without thinking about. Don't do that. Because that's what ego, darkness, and things want you to do. Because they already know God's going to win anyway. Goodness, is God, love is going to win anything anyway. Love conquers everything. So, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all, thank you for being patient with me, knowing my little, my little uh, sensitive behind. I've been crying in almost everything. <laughs> but, you know, things, you know, it, it, it's just, it, it can hit me at some times. And I'm just like, God, dog, I don't want to cry on camera. And it's coming out, and it's coming out. You know, and I just don't want to do it. But, I, you know, it has to happen. You know, you have to keep it real. I try to keep it real in the realest form I can possibly be. You know, I, I would like y'all for y'all to see me at my winning moments as well as my losing ones. You know, my dark days as well as my lights. You know, my emotional ones and the ones that makes me feel like I'm blessed as well because that lets you know, hey, she's really real. She's being real with us. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I love y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting me in each and every way. I greatly appreciate that. I'm giving my shout outs to Jesus Lover of My Soul, Rafe uh, Fisher, and Gabriel, and Buse. Much love to y'all. Peace. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved, and knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. So how much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you feel like you've been astro projecting through all your past lives or even reminiscing about your past lives. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.